Hey Libra, welcome to the channel, and this is your reading for February 2022. Uh, if you don't know me, and I don't know you, then extra welcome, because this is a brand new channel, and the fact that you just found this um, is pretty miraculous in and of itself. So I hope you stick around for the reading. Um, if you like it, definitely subscribe. It'll definitely help grow the channel. Obviously, we are starting from scratch here. Um, I'm just glad to have you here, and if I do know you, thank you for the support. Thanks for watching my videos. You know how much I love to do this, um, especially in the last six months. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to start, Libra, with pulling a court card for you to see how you're showing up for the month of November. November. February. Is November relevant to you, Libra? We'll start there. The Queen of Pentacles. All right. Some self-care here, right? Some balance. The Queen of Pentacles, she lives the manifestation that the magician is, you know, manifesting. So you're living the life right now in some regard in your life. Um, take a look at what's working. Okay, nurture the things that are working and leave the things that are, do that, that are not. Finding balance, of course, Libra. Finding balance. What's your opportunity for the month of February? The Hermit. Yep. Going within. Um, Self-assessment. Skills. Building. Skills. Building. Um, your intuitive sense. What's the challenge? The Nine of Pentacles. Again, another nurture card. This like luxury sort of Hmm. That's the pre-Empress card. Um, I feel like you are really treating yourself like the queen and or king that you are, Libra. You are really nourishing yourself this month, going deep within to really celebrate all parts of you. In a very physical sense and also I get spiritual sense as well we have two nines also um, that came out already because hermit is the nine card is that not your month Libra right September I mean sort of well Virgo um, let's keep going what are you really hoping for this month the page of cups a new beginning in love perhaps something unexpected hoping for a message from spirit right when we listen to our intuition like that unexpected sort of aha or um, maybe a little bit of confusion as to why you know your need for self-care why are you why are you caring so much suddenly about this body vessel? That might be an intuitive sense that you have. Um, what is the foundation for this month? Page of Wands. The Potential. Also a very magical card. We have some really fresh energy for Libra. You are renewing, rejuvenating yourself. What is the potential here? What's going on? Uh, we have justice in the past. Balance. That's you. So I feel like you've found your wavelength, Libra. You found it at some point in the recent past. And so now I think what you're saying is, how do I make the most of this? How do I use this to really um, hone in on my purpose so that's what i think the hermit is really saying also hermit is virgo right and weren't we just saying the nine and the virgo and and the number nine virgos it's very interesting to me uh libra virgo maybe you have some virgo in your chart libra or i don't know what's going on with that why um i'm feeling a little confused here maybe you're a cuspy I don't know. Uh, double page, double nines. Uh, 
and my ear, left ear just started ringing. Um, maybe I'm connecting with somebody who's watching right now. I don't know. Okay, moving on. The, the, the Six of Pentacles showed up as the outcome. Um, there, there's another scale, image of a scale depicted on the Six of Pentacles here, which is equal give and take, reciprocity. So I think this is really dealing with how you're showing up um, in the world now is definitely from a more equal give and take. In any situations that don't feel, that um, don't resonate with you on that same wavelength, I think you're saying, no thanks. Uh, but at the same time, you are totally here and present for the things that do feel good, that feel balanced, that reflect the energy that you are now putting off. So this is the sort of growth that I'm talking about, Libra. You're in your power. You've sort of maybe figured something out for yourself. Good for you, right? This is what this is the kind of ascension stuff that everybody is really working toward. And um, just because it's happening for you this month doesn't mean there won't be more challenges in the times ahead and, and vice versa. Like if it's a challenging time for you and this is not resonating for you, don't think that there's not a message for you in here because I think that every day you wake up, you know, we wake up feeling good or bad and more more or less in our power, in our essence. And in any case, this is all new to you. This is what I'm feeling is that th that's why we have the pages here. This is brand new energy. This is not something you've done before. At the same time, I feel like you understand your purpose somehow a bit better is what I'm getting in the month of February. All right. Notice how we have pages though. There's no action really being taken. You're simply like assessing like, oh, this is who I am now. And you're sort of like trying to seek out that same energy around you. Um, so you could see sort of where, which direction to go in. Yep, Ten of Wands. You're showing us Ten of Wands. The burden card, as in you've been through a lot. You've been a lot to get to this level of self-awareness, that level of self-love, self-care. It also means that, yeah, you're willing to put down anything that really isn't serving you and you're willing to, willing to like I said, not really engage with things that are going to take your energy and not support the energy that you're creating for yourself right now. High Priestess is the environment. There's that spirituality, right? Physical and spiritual development. Mm. There's also secrets. You know, High Priestess is the card of secrets. And she, um, She's everything that is unknown to us, right? And the higher realm is like connection to spirit. The things that we don't understand totally about ourselves that but we feel deeply connected to, right? This is our purpose. So you're seeking out your purpose even further. Hopes and fears, the seven of cups. Yeah, of course. Um, at worst, you may be confused as to what's going on, what direction to go in. What am I doing? Maybe some feelings of overwhelm, uh, but at best, um, again, seeing lots of potential or a lot of opportunities, seeing that the world is your oyster and that you could literally pursue whatever it is you want in this life. Today, I, I heard someone talk about the premise of like versus want. We do want things in life, but do you like that you want them? We have to like what we do. Do you like that you're doing this? Do you want to be doing this? So want is like connected to this desire um, and our desires can often be triggered by things unlike liking something which is more of like a deeper feeling. I like this. I like that I'm doing this. I like that I get to read tarot for you on the internet. Do I want to do it? Like, yeah, 
But, it, but the energy of want is not the same. I like to do it. I don't have to do it. I don't want to do it. I like doing it. So you're going to discover about yourself all the things that you like to do. And so at best <laughs> or worst, you know, there is a sense of overwhelm with the seven of cups of like this dreamy, like oh, all, this th all these things I can do discovering the things that you're passionate about because you're now um, taking care of yourself in a way where you're maybe figuring out all these things that you left behind um, in order to deal with the responsibilities of the world of the responsibilities of the world the res the response the responsibilities that the world gives us as if responsibility is a birthright that we're born into like having to deal with with problems i mean we should all have some level of responsibility for being here and sharing space. But that's different from the responsibility you have to yourself to seek out your purpose and seek out the things that you like to do. Because when you like what you do, you change the world. You change everything about yourself and, every, and everything that you touch turns to gold. I don't know why that wanted to come out that way, but it did. <laughs> Okay, and the outcome, the five of pentacles. That's funny. As you said, everything you touch turns to gold. Um, so you have five, six. Hmm. The five and six of pentacles are in both of the outcome positions here, so... I think that the message here is that whenever you uh, do get the sense of overwhelm or it just, if anything becomes too much, you now know you can come back to this um, self-care center, to this like um, inner core that is here represented as your essence um, in, you know, justice balance, the queen of pentacles, the hermit, and the nine of pentacles. This idea that you can rest on your own solid structure that you are nurturing this month. It's maybe because you're going to need to rely on it this year. Um, I don't know if this is maybe about how you process stress. You know, you might have some new skills about processing stress or overwhelm. Um, into a more steady flow so you're not sort of ping-ponging back and forth this is about a good stable flow um, Libra I myself felt so connected to your reading maybe it's because of my Libra placements uh, but your read I will not do any clarifications at this time and I'll just leave it at that if you found this reading by chance and you don't know who I am and I don't know who you are and you're still watching this, please subscribe to the channel. I'm building a new thing. And so I hope you like it and I'm asking for your support. Um, and if you didn't like it, feel free to, to leave a comment. Let me know why you didn't like it. <laughs> I hope that this was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.